Government at all levels in Nigeria has been charged to ensure proper implementation of social protection programs towards poverty alleviation in the country. The charges against the backdrop of high poverty level in the country, particularly with the prevailing economic hardship after the removal of fuel subsidy last year. At a strategic session, or a strategy session rather, Civil Society Leaders Forum on Social Protection demanded holistic and comprehensive implementation of government social protection programs. The theme of the dialogue on social protection and sustainable development is towards an inclusive and sustainable social protection program in Nigeria. The initiative is supported by the PERL ECP program funded by the United Kingdom's Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO. As it is today, the level of poverty is high in Nigeria. All the development indices are poor, whether in terms of fragility, in terms of hunger, in terms of number of children out of school, in terms of life expectancy. All the development indices in Nigeria are poor. Meanwhile, the rate of investment on social protection which has been shown to be a veritable tool of lifting poor people out of poverty, is very low in Nigeria. This forum is to see that this uh, initiative by the Nigerian, where a lot of the country's money is put into, reaches everybody who should be rich. That's very important. We are here to monitor the process. We are here to see how we can provide leadership from civil society angle in terms of what the government does in reaching the most vulnerable within our society. I believe that the social protection system that we have now needs to be broadened. They need to uh, be made more inclusive. For instance, we're talking about the poorest of the poor people. We're also talking about aged people who are out of active uh, service, um, retirees who need to get a pension. Um, you know, it is possible to get a pension when you have a job. But for people who are self-employed artisans, how are they able to survive after retirement? Well, because the 103 million Nigerians living on multidimensional poverty, more than 95% of that figure are people with disabilities. So we and we know that a lot of people who are poor, if they have no interventions, they can become people with disabilities. You understand? Because of uh, malnutrition leads to disability, or betting leads to disability, even the issue of uh, non access to proper proper healthcare facilities and hygiene leads to disability. Uh, and it's important for that kind of for the policy framework to be such that um, uh, uh, it is inclusive. It, 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 it includes mechanism to ensure uh, that um, that people are going to that citizens are going to benefit regardless of their status uh, in society, whether they are rich and the rest of that. So that's the first thing. That's the overarching thing that is necessary uh, to be done.